so that's it i've peeled it off and i'll just place it here exactly where i want it to be and voila okay <laughs> Sometimes you might have the exact same wig as someone else but because of how they styled it and how they take care of their wigs you will think that their own is different or their own is more expensive. No, it's all in the styling you guys and today I'm going to show you how to style a kinky curly wig and how to make the curls pop to make the wig look luscious and beautiful and the wig I'm going to be styling today is from Nadula hair you guys I have worked with Nadula hair several times at this point and I love their wigs you guys anytime anybody asks me to recommend a wig for them Nadula is one of those brands that I will always recommend because of how good their wigs are and this is the packaging that it comes in it comes in this bag and inside the bag you have the wig box okay oh I already opened this before so you have the wig box it comes in this satin bag and you now see the wig box itself yeah nadula hair and it says be confident be bold be you okay so inside the box you have this satin uh, robe okay so you can wear this when you are styling your hair or when you're just out of the shower then this is the wig then you have this brush okay so this brush is going to be very important when it comes to styling this wig okay so just stick with me okay and then you have this organza bag with accessories inside so you have the edge band hd wig cap then you also have an extra edge band and you also have a another hd wig cap okay so this is the wig it comes with extra elastic band and also this double-sided stick on tips so these tabs are for you to secure the wig without using glue or anything okay i'm happy about that and yeah so this is the wig this is kinky coily look at the texture this is proper proper kinky coily and yeah very nice very soft so this is a 13 by 4 lace front and it has come pre-cut pre-styled pre-bleached pre-everything in fact they have already put the tab for you to secure it to your head on both sides i love it this is the inside of the wig so this is the lace you can see that the lace has been bleached this is 13 by 4 so this is where you secure the extra elastic band like if you want it to be you know to fit your head very well and this is an extra comb for you to secure it behind your head so this is the wig right some people just put this wig on their head like this and maybe color the lace a little bit and they leave the house and they'll be wondering why their wig looks different okay now this is not particularly a bad look either but it is not giving growing from your scalp it's not giving luscious juicy curls it's not giving okay so for you to take this to the next level you need to do some things to it okay so the first thing we're going to be doing today is to blend the lace to our skin tone so we're just going to use my foundation right i'm using a foundation or you can use a contour palette and use a color that is a tad bit darker than your normal skin tone okay and i'll show you guys why i'm going to be using this color here right so you can see that it's not it's actually darker than my regular skin tone but the reason why i use it is that by the time you add it to the lace it kind of diffuses a bit right so it's not as thick as it looks here right the color is not as intense as it looks here so it kind of diffuses a bit and then it will match your skin tone just make sure that it is the same undertone and all of that and you are good to go okay so i use this brush i didn't take too much you guys saw what i took right i didn't take too much i'll just start by you know blending out the edges don't concentrate too much on one side just blend it out you know just lightly lightly okay lightly take it easy you're not rushing anywhere okay take your time <laughs> take your time so just do it lightly and again depending on your skin tone you can actually skip this part you can actually just style the wig and then use this brush with your contour shade and just you know color the edges right depending on your skin tone so you don't really have to do this part but i like to do it because it's easier to just do this and then flip it over and you know everything just blends one time <laughs> okay so i'm pretty much done with that let me put it on my head now and you guys will see the difference like clear as day are you guys seeing it already can you can you just 
<laughs> I'm not even done wearing it. But can you guys see the difference already? Can you see how that lace has disappeared? Okay, I'm not done wearing the wig well. Though. So can you guys already see that blend? Can you see that the lace has stopped showing? Like it's like lace wear so the next step is to remove the hair from your face okay just take everything back so that you can see what you are working with so make sure you brush all the hairs back so if you have a mannequin head you can actually do this on a mannequin head and use a hot comb and brush it back but i rather just do it on my head because you know why not but yeah so make sure you brush all the hairs back make sure there are no flyaways everything is just back in place for those who use glue this is the part where you can now put the glue but for people like us who don't have any business with glue anymore <laughs> we're going to be using these adhesive tabs that have been provided for us by nadula hair so yeah okay so i am sure where i want the lace to be so i'm just going to go ahead now and peel it off and just place it where i want it to be okay so that's it i've peeled it off and i'll just place it here exactly where i want it to be and voila okay <laughs> mess free i love this it's so mess free can you guys see how well it stayed okay so now let's move on to the hairline so i'm not doing baby hairs but i want to just mess around with my hairline a little bit so that it will look more realistic so this method is for those of us who really don't like baby hairs but you want the hairline to look more realistic just do what i'm doing you just use a little bit of mousse and your comb or brush and just mess the hairline up a bit so that it's not too perfect because sometimes while your hairline looks why it's obvious that you're wearing a wig is because of how perfect your hairline is i mean some people like that perfect hairline look but me i personally don't care for it that's why i'm taking my time to just mess it up a bit can you guys see that So I've released the hair now. So this is what the hair itself looks like. I'm going to go ahead now and brush it out very well. This step is very important, okay? You can start by using a comb, you can use a brush, but don't skip this part. Make sure you brush out the wig very, very well. Yeah, so this is real kinky textured wig, you guys. Like I have very long hair and I just loosen my hair. That's what it looks like now. So this part is very important because it kind of like messes with those perfect coils that the wig came with, okay? So these are the first two items I'm going to be using to tame this wig. I'm going to be using water in a spray bottle. I'm also going to be using conditioner. This is just a regular rinse out conditioner. So you can get any regular rinse out conditioner that is very moisturizing or you can use a leave-in conditioner but i realized that first of all it's cheaper to use a rinse out conditioner and then two rinse out conditioners are very very moisturizing okay when you leave them on the hair however do not use too much okay <laughs> so i'm not saying you should just carry half of the conditioner and just slap on your hair no don't use too much but you know a little goes a long way so now let me just spray it down first Okay, so I've added some water to it first. I'm still going to add more water. I've added some water to it, but let me do one side and show you guys how I put the conditioner. So I just take a little bit of conditioner. Uh, this should be enough for one side, I think. Just take a little bit of one conditioner and then run it through that portion of hair. That's this one side. Make sure you spread it very well. And this is where that comb comes in that's the, the brush that came with the wig this is where it comes in you need to now brush that conditioner through very very well okay so i'm going to use this big comb first to comb it out okay just so that it will be easy to manipulate with a smaller brush so this is me combing out the whole thing and just marrying everything together so if you want you can actually leave it this way you can see that the curls 
are already popping right i made this in bright so that you guys will see the hair very well you can see that the curls are already popping so you can leave it this way if you want but i need to take it to the next level so i'll take the hair in smaller sections now so i pinned it up so i take this small brush okay and then just you can do the brush like this just brush it through brush it through you can brush it very well make sure you're brushing it really really well make sure you brush it really well can you guys see this can you see the curls can you see how juicy and luscious these curls are are you guys seeing that love it can you guys see this again like i said you can apply mousse on it let me just apply mousse to this small section mousse actually helps to lock in the moisture so that you won't need to refresh it easily so after you apply the mousse you use the brush and brush it okay brush it so you can see another thing you can do is you can take it in sections like this and twirl it around your finger like if you wanted to have like you know more defined coils you can twirl it around your finger and just have more defined coils so i'm going to be doing this all around the hair so just watch me okay Okay, so I'm done working on the curls, but I'm going to use a diffuser and just diffuse it and dry it basically Just so that you know you guys can see the end result. You can leave it to air dry if you want You can leave it like this. It looks good, but I'm going to use a diffuser and just diffuse it But again, you can totally skip this step. This is me just being extra, okay? Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the styling of this wig and the hair is like let's say 80% dry but you can see how nice and juicy this wig looks can you tell that it is the same wig that I showed you guys at the beginning like can you tell it looks like it is a completely different wig and look at how the curls are popping the hair is still a bit wet like I said because the moisture in the hair is kind of weighing it down but when it completely dries it will come up a bit and look very nice but I like it the way it is okay can you guys see this I'm going to leave the link to this wig in the description box. Go and get your own and style it the way I styled it. And people are going to stop you on the road and ask you, where did you get your wig, okay? And when they ask you, just tell them to come and meet me. Let me show them the way. Show them this video, okay? So this is the side part. How do I look? I feel like this looks better. Or, you know, maybe not really better, but, you know, it looks good as well. And you guys see how natural it looks? Just look at the curls. Look at how the curls are popping. It doesn't even look like the same curls that we started with. That is the power of styling, okay? Okay. 